We're back in Santa Ponsa, uh, but today's a little bit different. We're not going to do a lot of walking, I don't think, um, but it's going to be a little bit more of a history. So here we are at the cross, which is overlooking Santa Ponsa, and uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about what's, uh, what it's all about. So this was set up in 1959 as a memorial to the invasion by the Christians from 1229. Originally placed here in 1929, it was actually um, restored in 1959 uh, to what it looks like today. So 800 years ago, uh, Mallorca was run by the Moors, the Muslims, and it had become really a centre for pirates. Pirates could come and uh, safely moor here and then go and plunder wherever they were in the Mediterranean. And because of the strategic position of Mallorca between Spain, France, Italy and North Africa, it was potentially a very interesting place for uh, doing trade between all of these countries. And so the King of Aragon, Jaime I, uh, was keen to take back control of Mallorca. And so in the, the year leading up to the invasion, he got together an army on the mainland of Spain, around Tarragona and Salau, and they launched an attack on the island in 1229. And reading the history books this morning, it says 150 ships came over with 15,000 troops. So it wasn't a small invasion, but there were a lot of moors here. And uh, this cross commemorates that invasion. And uh, it's celebrated each year. Uh, at the beginning of September, uh, the people of Santa Ponza will have a Moors and Christians celebration. Uh, when there is a, another landing, so the, the Christians come and land here uh, with their army and uh, they take on the, the Moors in a mock battle which is on one of the smaller beaches in, in Santa Ponza. So if you're over here around the beginning of September, normally there's lots of activities going on to commemorate that time. So just, uh, just below this cross is the entrance to the port of Santa Ponza again something that's quite well hidden if you're staying on the beach in Santa Ponza you probably didn't even notice that there was a port here but as we walk around it's really very well hidden so very well sheltered it's not a huge port but uh, the club now to go to Santa Ponza it's just down here, hidden amongst the trees in the little valley. And the boats are safely moored here. So there's one last look at the, uh, the cross there. We're just going to have a look around the, the port now. So we're just walking uh, along a path here, which has got the port down to our right. You can't really see because of the trees. Quite a few people out today. It is a Sunday, so it's traditionally a time when people will go for a walk before they have their Sunday lunch. So this is the entrance to the Club Nautico Santa Ponza. Uh, that's where the, the boats are moored. So we're just going to walk down here. And uh, there's lots of restaurants and places to, to go here normally. Uh, obviously now we've got this pandemic, things are closed up. It's the very end of February, it's uh, 2021. Um, on Tuesday, bars and restaurants are able to open. And so places like this will start to come to life again. So you can just see the, the cross on the hill there to get your bearings where we are. We've now walked down and we're, we're actually in the port, right where the boats are. And uh, we're just gonna have a little walk around 
So as I said, it wasn't, it's not a very big port, but uh, there is a very nice restaurant that I've been to up there in the past. And then the businesses here tend to be uh, yacht related, so... Some of the bigger boats that are here. And when we get to the end here, give you a, an idea of the size of, of this port of Santa Pons. There's a lot of empty berths here at the moment. I'm told that. Uh, People who don't have to have uh, moved a lot of their boats to the mainland where the moorings are a lot cheaper. I'm no expert on that, but uh, it would make sense. If you can't use your boats very much, you want to moor them in a safe uh, but not too expensive place. Some nice apartments here that uh, overlook the port as well two sides. And most people come to Santa Ponza, it's the beach uh, that they're attracted to. So there's the beach in Santa Ponza. So just to put you in some perspective of where we are today, we've actually come out onto the headland. So if you were sitting on the beach and looking out to the sea, we're just on the left and we're standing right by this monument, which is the cross, which commemorates the, the landing of the Christians in 1229. Fishing is obviously a popular pastime here on the island, uh, whether you're fishing from the rocks. Some people actually take uh, fishing rods out with them when they go out on their kayaks or on their sailboats. So I don't think these have Yachts, I don't think they've got the fishing rods with them today, but uh, they're having a, a little fun in the kayaks. And sailing is clearly very popular here in Mallorca. Such a peaceful passport past time. Just pan around and have a look at Santa Panza again. down to the beach. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little trip to a different part of Santa Ponza. A little bit of history in there and also the opportunity to see the port. If you have enjoyed it, then please share it with your friends and uh, tell them to subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, do hit that subscribe button. It's good to see how many people have actually subscribed to the YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.